Okay, um, that should be everything. I've got the popcorn in the bowls, and, uh, that, that should do. I've got some Chex Mix, uh, Trail Mix, all sorts of really good snacks, and, and he said he was bringing something over, so, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Oh, I've never had someone come over to my house like this before. I mean, I've had, like, guys come over, but they've always been friends, and it's always been with their girlfriends, because I was friends with the girls, not, not the guys, but I've never had a boyfriend come over to my house before. I mean, should I... I mean, I have to tell them where the bathroom is, obviously. Like, that's just kind of a given. I just, oh, I'm just so nervous. Oh, I hope he likes it. I mean, I cleaned everything up, I vacuumed, I dusted. Oh, the cats! The cats, the cats. Okay, um... Ooh, I guess they, they can... Well, I'll, um, I'll leave, I'll leave you out. I'm sorry, I know, I know, I'm the worst mom ever, but you can be a bit much, Melly. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know, I know, you can be mad at me, it's okay. I still love you. Oh, okay, um, I mean, so far, so good, right? I, I shouldn't freak out, he's, oh, that's him, that's him, that's him, okay, <sighs> hi, you made it, uh, come in, come in, yeah, absolutely, excuse the mess, I, yeah, I, I did clean up a ton, actually, <laughs> um, thank you for, for noticing, yeah, I, I tried to make it look really nice for you, well, I mean, not necessarily for you, it kind of needed cleaned anyway, I just, um... Yeah, I'm fine, fine, just anxious, I guess, I... I'll be honest with you. I've never had a boyfriend come over to my house before. So, I'm just a little, uh, nervous. Not that I think, like, anything's gonna go wrong or anything, I guess I'm just... Well, what if he doesn't like my house, or, or my decorations aren't what he would like, and I tend to overthink a little bit. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, obviously this is the living room. Um, sorry for not having you come up through the basement. Uh, yeah, um, that's where we store all the dirt bike stuff, so it is huge mess. <laughs> I mean, I can I can go down and show you if you you really want to see, but I promise it's it's not anything special. Um I mean, we do have the the fish tank down there, but um Uh yeah, a fish tank. Uh we have a well, yeah, we we've got a 300 gallon saltwater fish tank downstairs. Um, it's an aggressive tank, which means the fish in there aren't, uh, meant to be on a reef. Um, we've got a lionfish, an eel, a shark, a stingray, a pufferfish, a wrasse, and a fox face butterfly fish. Yeah, actually. <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. There's this really big misconception about people who own fish like that and one yes lionfish are an invasive species and they are dangerous to have on reefs because uh, they eat literally anything that they can fit in their mouths um, but at the same time it's really beneficial for people to have saltwater fish tanks because if people have a species of fish that's quickly going extinct, we can breed them and house them safely. And, well, you can raise the babies and restore the population. <laughs> yeah, uh, people will contact you. Large ocean organizations. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It is, unfortunately, a really big misconception. But that's why it's good to have an open mind about things, if you ask me. Um, anyway, I'll show you all of that later. If you follow me this way down this hallway, uh, is the bathroom. Um, 
And then right here is my bedroom and the spare bedroom. There's no bed in it. Uh, I mean, I have the bed. It's just not in it because I use this as my functioning D&D room. Um, but we could just fold the table up and uh, shove it into a closet and out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> um, but um, what do you have there? You said you brought something. Oh, uh, thank you. I love candles. I've got a couple going right now, but my watermelon one is actually running out, so this is great. <laughs> yes, I mean it. This is a really great gift. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. You're a good gift giver. Don't know if anyone's ever told you that or if that's a weird thing to say, but I said it and I can't take it back now. Um... Anyway, there's there's snacks on the table. Help yourselves to anything. Dinner should be out of the oven in just a little bit. Lasagna is okay, right? I tried to remember all of the allergies you said you had, if if any. I, I, I tried. <laughs> um, I hope it's okay. It's my mom's recipe, so if it's one you don't like, blame my mom. <laughs> Um, my parents, um, well, they're, they're out of town with the, the dirt bike group, actually, so, no, 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 I, I double checked with them that everything was okay, and they'll probably be calling here in a short while, because they want to meet you, um, and they said I have to make sure I leave Gunner out, <laughs> uh, they can be a little overprotective, but I am their baby girl, so I kind of get it. They just don't want anything bad to happen to me, is all. Not assuming that you're going to do anything because I trust you completely. I mean, you've been very helpful in other situations, and I felt very safe with you, so... Um... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, did you want to play a board game? I figured that would be a good way for us to keep ourselves entertained and get to know each other better. Uh, my favorites, my favorite is actually the game of life, but we don't have it, so kind of whatever you want. I pulled out a couple, and I had my dad help me get some down from the closet, because I'm a bit too short, but, um, aggravation is always fun. If you've ever played, it's kind of like uh, trouble, people say, um, but I've never played trouble, so, <laughs> yeah. I, I am, I just, I've never had someone come over when I'm home alone like this, so, and... I don't want it to feel like I'm, you know, breaking a rule or something, or upsetting my parents, or like I'm lying to them, you know? My family means a lot to me, and the last thing I want to be is, you know, a disappointment. But, um, anyway, uh, we should probably get started. Do you want anything to drink? Uh, I've got water, almond milk regular milk, uh, pomegranate juice, and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you a glass. Oh, I do have lemon boba, if you're interested in something like that. No? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I, I really like it, I'll eat it just by a cupful. <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't, because it's probably really bad for me with all that sugar, but... I gotta eat it up eventually. <laughs> um, so how was how was your day? I mean, what did what did you do today? If that's okay for me to ask. Mhm. Mm oh, that sounds really cool, actually. Is that your job? I take it. Uh huh. Interesting. That's really awesome, actually. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, that's not a job I could do. No offense, of course, but 
That's really awesome. Do you like it, I hope? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a job, isn't it? <laughs> I understand that. Well, hopefully in the future you can find something that you enjoy. Assuming you are going to like quit or leave at some point. I mean, if they're mistreating you, you definitely should not stay. Well, no. Just because it pays good doesn't mean you have to be miserable. In fact, I don't want you to stay because it's miserable. Sure, I don't love every single day that I'm doing lawn care or YouTube, but... Well, YouTube, I guess, is a bit of a different story. I actually really love YouTube. But anyway, my point is, you're not going to love every single day. But you shouldn't be groaning and dragging your feet and hating your life while you're at work. At least, I don't think so. I guess you could kind of take my words with a grain of salt. I mean, it's not like we know each other all that well yet, so it's kind of hard for me to say anything about your life. So, I just, I want you happy. You're welcome. Um, do you want to get started in a game, or... Uh, you're staring. My eyes. Oh. <laughs> um, thank you. That's really sweet. I, uh, I fluster easy, okay? You know that. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright. Just flustered. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, did you want dessert? I have stuff to make cookies. They'd end up just being chocolate chip, but I figured that's better than nothing. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, okay. That's fine with me, absolutely. I don't mind at all. Um... Yeah, we don't, we don't have to have any sweets. You're still staring. <laughs> you didn't do this before, is it just the lighting, or...? Oh, do I have hair on my eyelashes? Yeah, that's from my cats. <laughs> uh, three of them in the house. There's one out in the barn. The pole barn, actually. Um, there's Luna, who is white, uh, Melly, who is a gray and white, and Deimos, who is a black tuxedo. And then, of course, you have Gunner, who is also in the bedroom. Uh, you probably heard him barking. I can probably let him out now, if, if you want to greet him. I, my family did tell me to leave him out, just in case. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, well... He's not trained in attack, but, um, there have been sp some pretty spooky moments where we're almost pretty sure that he would do what he had to do to protect, uh, his family, so, um, and he does know how to open that door, he just knows better. <laughs> yeah, he knows how to open doors. He just paws at the handle till it pops open. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's a really, really great dog. One of the... One of the best dogs we've ever had. Yeah, I'm alright, sorry. I'm just remembering things from the past. Past animals and stuff. You, I'm sure you know how it is. Saying goodbye is probably one of the hardest things humans can do. Yeah. But, um, anyway, not to get all sappy or anything. Do you want to play a game? What do you, what do you want to play? Aggravation? Yeah, I, I like aggravation. I think it's fun. It's with marbles. Oh, gra oh, you got it. Okay. Thank you. Um, 
so you can pick your color. We can either do across from each other or next to each other. Um, and you, on your first move, you get out. Like at the very beginning, you get out no matter what you roll, and you move that across the board. After that, you have to roll your die, and you get either a 1 or a 6 to get out. Sixes, you can roll again. Um, ones, uh, it's just you move one or you can get out. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, um, if you land on one of these stars, like if you stop on that star, then you can bounce around to those other stars. Um, if you land in the middle, you have to roll a one to get out, but you can go on the star right next to you. Your objective is to get all around the board and get all your marbles into home.